In the theater of modern warfare, intercontinental ballistic missiles or ICBMs hold center stage. These formidable weapons of mass destruction, born out of the Cold War era, continue to shape geopolitics across the globe. They are not just tools of destruction, but also strategic assets, providing nations with deterrent power, negotiating leverage, and a means to project their strength far beyond their borders. ICBMs have transformed the way nations protect their sovereignty and interests. In their vast arsenals, two missiles stand out for their capabilities and strategic importance, the Indian Agni V and the American LGM 30G Minuteman III. The Agni V, a symbol of India's technological prowess, and the Minuteman III, a testament to America's military might, are both remarkable pieces of engineering. Today, we delve deep into the technicalities and capabilities of these two prominent ICBMs, the Indian Agni V and the American LGM 30G Minuteman III. First on our list is the Indian Agni V, a powerful testament to India's technological prowess. The Agni V, translating to fire in Sanskrit, is India's first intercontinental ballistic missile or ICBM, propelling the nation into an elite club of countries with such advanced weaponry. The Agni V is a three-stage solid fuel missile, which means it uses solid propellants that are stable at room temperature. This feature makes the missile ready to launch at a moment's notice, a crucial aspect in modern warfare. With a range of over 5,000 kilometers, the Agni V can reach deep into the heart of Asia and Europe, putting a significant portion of the world within its striking distance. The missile's technological features are quite impressive. It's equipped with a ring laser gyroscope-based inertial navigation system and a micro-navigation system. These technologies enable the missile to maintain a high accuracy level, a key strength of the Agni V, reducing the risk of collateral damage in a conflict scenario. The Agni V can carry a payload of more than one and a half tons, giving it the capability to deliver a substantial nuclear warhead. This sheer power is complemented by the missile's multiple independently targetable re-entry vehicle or MIRV technology. This enables it to carry several nuclear warheads and hit multiple targets simultaneously, a feature that significantly enhances its destructive potential. However, the Agni V isn't without its weaknesses. Its size and weight make it less mobile than some other ICBMs, and it requires a relatively long time to prepare for launch. Also, while its range is impressive, it falls short of the global reach that some other ICBMs possess. Nevertheless, the Agni V is a remarkable achievement for India. It symbolizes the country's commitment to maintaining a credible minimum deterrent and its ability to defend itself in an increasingly uncertain world. It is a testament to the skills and dedication of India's scientists and engineers, and a clear indication of the country's growing technological capabilities. The Agni V, a clear demonstration of India's capabilities, is indeed a formidable player in the ICBM world. On the other side of the globe, we have America's LGM 30 G Minuteman III, a staple in the world of intercontinental ballistic missiles. This missile is a testament to the technological prowess of the United States boasting over 40 years of active service. The Minuteman III, designed and manufactured by Boeing, is a three-stage solid-fuel missile. It measures about 60 feet in length and has a diameter of approximately 6 feet. What sets it apart is its impressive range. This missile is capable of reaching any point on the globe within half an hour, covering a distance of over 8,000 miles. The Minuteman III isn't just about range. It packs a serious punch with its payload, it's equipped with multiple independently targetable re-entry vehicles, or MIRVs. Each Minuteman III can carry up to three nuclear warheads, each capable of being directed to different targets. This capability multiplies the potential strike power of each missile, making it a formidable weapon. However, even the Minuteman III isn't without its weaknesses. The missile's age is a factor that cannot be ignored. While it has been updated over the years, the fundamental design of the missile is still based on technology from the 60s. This raises questions about its ability to penetrate modern missile defenses. Despite this, the Minuteman III's reliability is its saving grace. It has a proven track record of dependability, having been tested extensively over its four decades of service. 
This reliability is a key factor in its role as a deterrent, as it provides a credible threat to potential adversaries. In addition, the Minuteman 3's propulsion system is a marvel of engineering. The three-stage solid rocket motor provides the power needed to propel the missile to its target, while also allowing for a high degree of accuracy. The Minuteman 3, a reliable and tested missile, continues to play a crucial role in America's deterrence strategy. Its range, payload, and proven dependability make it a formidable player in the world of ICBMs, standing as a stark reminder of the destructive potential of nuclear warfare. Now that we have a comprehensive understanding of both missiles, it's time to pit them against each other. Let's start with the technical specifications. The Agni V, an Indian intercontinental ballistic missile, has a range of over 5,000 kilometers, capable of reaching deep into enemy territory. It's equipped with multiple independently targetable re-entry vehicle, MIRV, technology, allowing it to carry multiple warheads at once. On the other side of the ring, we have the American LGM-30G Minuteman III, a beast in its own right. With a range of over 13,000 kilometers, the Minuteman III can reach virtually any point on the globe. It also utilizes MIRV technology, but goes a step further with its three separate re-entry vehicles, each equipped with a nuclear warhead. Moving on to capabilities, the Agni V is a road mobile ICBM, giving it a strategic advantage in terms of mobility and deployment. It can be launched from various platforms, providing flexibility and making it harder to detect. In contrast, the Minuteman 3, while not mobile, is silo-based, offering a high degree of protection and readiness. It's always on standby, ready to launch at a moment's notice. As for strengths and weaknesses, the Agni V's compact size and mobility make it a formidable weapon. However, its relatively shorter range compared to the Minuteman 3 is a limitation. The Minuteman 3, while having the advantage of a greater range and multiple warheads, suffers from the drawback of being stationary, making it a potential target for preemptive strikes. There are similarities between the two missiles. Both are part of their respective countries' nuclear deterrent strategy. They're equipped with MIRV technology, allowing them to carry multiple warheads and strike multiple targets simultaneously. They also both use solid fuel, which provides a long shelf life and quick launch capabilities. But the differences are equally notable. The Agni V's mobility versus the Minuteman 3's stationary deployment is a key distinction. The range of the missiles also differs significantly, with the Minuteman 3 having more than twice the range of the Agni V. In terms of speed, the Minuteman 3 is faster, traveling at a speed of approximately 24,000 km per hour, while the Agni V travels at around 20 km per hour. However, the Agni V's shorter range and road mobility might compensate for this difference in speed. Both missiles, impressive in their own right, offer unique advantages, but the question remains, which one stands out? Ultimately, the answer depends on the specific strategic needs and defense objectives of the country deploying these weapons. In the grand scheme of things, it's not always about who has the bigger or faster missile, but rather about how effectively these weapons can be utilized to maintain peace and deter aggression. The moment of truth has arrived. In the competition between the Indian Agni V and the American Minuteman III, who takes the crown? Let's break it down. The Agni V, a testament to India's technological prowess, is known for its range and accuracy. Capable of striking targets over 5,000 kilometers away with remarkable precision, it's a force to be reckoned with. The missile's advanced navigation system, coupled with a highly effective re-entry vehicle, ensures it hits its mark every time. Then there's the Minuteman III, a stalwart of the American military arsenal. This missile has proven reliability and has stood the test of time. Its multiple independently targetable re-entry vehicle, or MIRV, allows it to engage several targets simultaneously, an ability not currently present in the Agni V. However, the Minuteman III's age is a double-edged sword. While it has a proven track record, its technology, though consistently upgraded, is essentially rooted in the mid-20th century. Meanwhile, the Agni V, being a more recent development, benefits from the advances in technology of the 21st century. So, who takes the crown? In terms of technological sophistication and accuracy, the Agni V edges out the competition. 
Its modern design and advanced navigation system give it an advantage. However, the Minuteman 3's reliability and multiple target capabilities keep it in the running. It's a close call and one could argue it from either side, but considering all factors, we tip the scales in favor of the Indian Agni V. Its impressive range, accuracy and technological sophistication give it a slight edge over the American Minuteman 3. While we have a winner, it's important to remember that the ultimate goal of these ICBMs is to maintain peace and deter aggression. In this endeavor, both the Agni V and the Minuteman 3 serve their